Hi guys and girls, it's your name Kate and welcome back to my channel. What's in the box? Keep watching, I'll play the intro and I'll reveal all after it. So what is Knox? Who are Knox? Knox is a family run business and their headquarters is in Cockermouth in the Lake District. Now Mike and I travelled up there the other day because we're going to Gran Canaria with Canary Motorcycle Tours very very soon and Joy from uh, Canary Motorcycle Tours rang me and said that at one point at half six in the evening it was 36 degrees. So I figured this is the kind of gear that we need. Now why do we need this gear? Well, they specialise in kind of buildable layers. So there is armour, base layer armour that you can get and there's numerous levels of CE um, ratings that you can get. So the stuff we have in here is CE AA rated um, but you can get a triple A jacket which is called the Honester jacket uh, which is quite nicely named saying as it's a late strict business. So yeah, we've got some cool stuff. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to show you what we've got. So, give me a second while I try and break in. Okay. Right. The big unboxing. Okie dokie. So I asked Aaron from Knox for an invoice. I can tell you exactly what we have got. So let's have a see. So, I've just opened the box and realised that Aaron has put in too many things. So we're one jacket up, so I'll send that back to him. But it's great that he's put it in because it means that Mike can try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to try on, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so the first jacket, which I didn't think we were getting, which I'll probably send back to Aaron, is the Urbane Pro MK3 Men's Black Extra Large Body Armour. Now this is what that looks like. This is very much an airflow jacket. In fact, let me show you just how airflowy it is. Look, see through. Hopefully, you can see how see through that is. So, these are designed to be layered up. So, obviously, in the UK, it's quite rare that we get super hot days that are like over 25 degrees. But if you wear like a mesh jacket, this is excellent because it's got all the armour in it. You've got the uh, armour on the shoulders, you've got it on the elbows as well and you've got it importantly in the back. So I'm going to get some close-ups of this so that you guys can see what the men's jacket looks like. So I'm going to insert some footage now of Mike trying on the Urbane Pro Mark III. Body armour in black and you guys can see what that colour option looks like. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I was expecting to open up. This is the one that Mike went for. It's a little bit different. Uh, the colour option of this is chainmail silver. So this one was black. We have chainmail silver, so this is still the Urbane Pro Mark III men's in extra large but just a different colour option so if we have a look at it you can see that it's exactly the same as the jacket that I've just showed you but it is in a different colour option called chainmail silver now I'll insert some close-ups of course so you guys can see what this is like but I am absolutely blown away by the quality of these items. It's, it's another level actually. The fit of them is phenomenal as you can see in the modelling pictures of Mike <laughs> and hopefully myself in a moment. But the details are lovely, they've got just some real nice thought out details like rubber branding with like uh, embroidered surroundings. We've got some nice detail on the sleeves. The zips look super quality. Inside, it's just finished wonderfully. So yeah, that is the Urbane Pro Mark III 
male extra large. Guys, which colour do you prefer? The black, the chainmail silver, or I'm going to put a picture on the screen now of the copper black as well. So three options for this. Okay, so the beauty of Knox stuff is that it's buildable. You might say, Kate, we live in England. Well, if you do, you might, you might be watching this from further afield. But from where I am, it's always miserable out there. It's shocking, it's rubbish, and certainly not weather where you need mesh stuff. The beauty of that is it fits so tight and snug that you have the armour there on your shoulders, on your elbows, on your back. So you can layer up as much as you want. You could layer up with stuff to keep you warm or you could layer up with waterproofing on top of that and you've still got your protection. So that's why I'm very, very um, non-judgmental sometimes when I see people riding around with hoodies on. Um, one, I'm very live and let live, obviously. I, I like gear and I like to protect myself, so I do choose personally to wear it. But you could easily get away with wearing something like this with a hoodie over the top because you've still got awesome protection. It's abrasion resistant and you've got the armour as well, so yeah. However, Knox has a solution for our UK weather to go over the top of the Urbane Pro and that is from their seasonless collection. It is the Dual Pro jacket. Now it's available in black and green but I was like Mike you're getting the green one it goes with the ginger beard phenomenally like a little Christmas elf. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like it's stunning let me tell you look at that absolutely bloody gorgeous oh okay so again I'm going to do some real close-up shots of this we're going to get Mike to model it and you guys can see how much thought has been put into this now this says it's a three-in-one jacket for any Knox armoured shirt if we have a look at what the tag says the perfect partner to any Knox Armoured shirt, designed to fit over any style of Knox Armoured shirt so that the Armoured shirt can be worn all year round. Outer soft shell with 10k water resistant breathable membrane, inner quilt jacket made using ultra lightweight insulation by Thermalite Plus. Let me tell you, it's like a hug in a jacket. It's, it's lovely. Reflective branding, so nice from a safety perspective. Welded credit card sleeve pocket for contactless payments. Welded chest pocket with hidden glasses wipe. Okay. Integrated pack away hood designed to be worn under a helmet to keep drafts out. Integrated thumb loops and cuff for secure fit. Now I'm going to cut to a clip of Mike wearing this so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. When you open it up, you've got that jacket inside, which is real quilted material. It feels just like a sleeping bag. And that in itself, if you were to wear it on its own, is beautiful. In fact, I'm going to get Mike to um, model it just without the outer jacket and just with the inner jacket. So you can see um, how you can kind of wear it on its own or wear it all together. But yeah, the quality of this is stunning, absolutely beautiful. And when Aaron brought this out for Mike to try on, I was very jealous. So what else do we have? Okay, so next Mike got the Orsa OR3. Now these gloves are perfect for Mike because Mike and I like to ride around in what some people call gardening gloves. <laughs> uh, I take some abuse actually for what gloves that I like to ride around in, but I am a sucker for a good feel on the bars and I feel like I'm more safe and in control and less likely to crash if I've got good feel on the bars. So these gloves, again, I'll get Mike to model them. They've got the um, BOA mechanism to tighten them to keep them on. We've got knuckle protection, but these are kind of like more of an enduro-y glove. 
So you've kind of got that thinner material, which is great for feel, but you've also got Knox's patented scaphoid protection system and knuckle protection as well. So yeah, I think these kind of gloves as well go really well with that chain mail because it's like grey on grey, but maybe that's just me being fashionista. Jokes, I'm not very fashionable. But yeah, well, I am now with all this knock stuff. <laughs> but yeah, also gloves. So we'll get Mike to try them on and you guys can see what they look like. So since it's going to be so hot in Gran Canaria, hopefully, <laughs> um, it's got to be better than Germany last year, hasn't it? In terms of temperature, Mike got some jeans. Now these are Knox's jeans, which are called Richmond. So these are the Richmond jeans. Just a real nice black classic jean with um, knee armour and hip armour as well. So we're going to get Mike to model these so you guys can see what they look like. But again, I'll get some close up pans of it so you can see the jeans in all their glory. Right, so moving on to what I am going to be wearing in Gran Canaria. So, this is the Ladies Urbane Pro Mark III. So, a lot of you ladies out there may have the Mark II. This is their newest iteration of the product. It is available in black as well. But I decided to go for the copper and black. One, because... It's just a bit different. I see lots of girls wearing the all black and I thought, you know what, I just, I just want something a bit different. And also, how pedantic is this? I kind of feel it matched my hair quite nice and I like that. So yeah, that's how I make decisions. So this is the Urbane Pro Mark III. Ladies, now this is a size small or a 10. So I'll show you guys um, what that's like on. I absolutely love the fact that it's long. I really get frustrated with ladies stuff that's cropped, usually because the pockets suffer. Like I can never in crop stuff, I can never fit my mobile phone in the pocket. It's like, it's just frustrating because the male counterparts don't have crops so they can fit phones in and everything and we just can't and it, it drives me insane. So the fact that this is long, as you'll see when I model it in a second, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. But yeah, really happy with the choice to go for copper, copper and black. What do you guys think of it? Let me know. Okay, next up. So I was obviously very jealous of Mike's green jacket. So I decided to get the dual pro jacket women's. So obviously it's the same as Mike's, but it has a more flattering feminine fit. And this is in a size small. So yes, this is the ladies version. I know it's a bit sad matching Mike, but since I'm like brunette now and not blonde anymore, I really love like my deep earthy, you know, woodland colors. And this color is just beautiful. I hope it picks up the color correctly because um, when I was filming in Knox HQ on the phone, the camera picked this up as kind of a grey, but no, it's a definite like foresty green. And again, it's got the same layering system as the men's. We've got the fleecy hug and a jacket. I say fleecy, no, we've got the sleeping baggy material in a jacket. Then we've got the fleecy outer and this will be perfect for layering up with the Urbane Pro when the weather gets a little bit colder. They claim it's water resistant. So yeah, I'll have to wear it out in the rain and, and see how I fare with that one. But lots of nice little details. Very, very impressed. Right, so for me with pants, I could have gone in the jeans direction, but Instead, I went with the Urbane Pro pant. So this is for maximum ventilation when you're out. 
So as you can see here, we have the ventilation bits. It's kind of like a, a real stretch material. And then we've got the mesh here, but it is cotton backed. So you won't see any thigh um, because you do this in men's as well. So, you know, I personally don't want any thigh on show and I'm sure, well, I'm sure anybody doesn't really. That's a bit weird. It's a bit niche, isn't it? Um, but yeah, cotton backed, so still still breathable but at a price where you don't flash all your skin and um, the legs are quite long for me because i've got short legs so i've just turned them up but i put the armor in when i was there to check that it sits in the correct place and it does and that's my main priority so yeah nice detailing again we've got some good pockets with a bit of stretch but yeah, at the back it's a lot more mesh, so very, very breezy. Let's see what it says. Urbane Pro Trouser, C approved class AA. So again, the Urbane Pro stuff is AA. And I got these in a size 10. So, I mean, arguably I could have probably gone for an eight, but I heard they feed you very well on the Canary Motorcycle Tours. So, I'm just getting ready for expansion room, okay? I don't think that's a bad thing. And then finally, I needed some new gloves. So, the gloves that I wore um, for track got absolutely shredded at Almeria and busted my finger a little bit and my little fingernail eventually fell off, which isn't good. But... I normally ride around in like Alpine Stars gardening gloves, the C ones, or RST, again, very flimsy, not much to them. So I decided to bulk up a little bit this time with the Handroid Pod. So you guys have probably seen Handroids all over the internet. They're kind of like um, uh, a bit of a viral glove because of how Terminator-like they look. But this is the short cuff one, so yeah very crazy how they look a real aggressive look to them which i absolutely love but bags of protection again we've got the scaphoid protection we've got all this so you can just glance off whatever you hit these are designed to just come out so they're not going to snag on anything which is uh, less of a worry and you just tighten them up with the boa system that they have but again i'll demonstrate that in some little b-roll footage for you guys but yeah, very happy that I'm going to be super protected in Gran Canaria. Woo -woo. So guys and girls, let me know what you think of those, what your favourite thing is that we've got to take with us to Gran Canaria. Let me know if you guys use Knox already and let me know if you're fans or you're not fans. Let me know your likes and dislikes. Everything is totally candid in my comment section. I don't delete positive i don't delete negative and i like to think of it as a nice place for people to make a informed decision when purchasing items because motorcycling stuff is not cheap unfortunately but i have to say the quality of knox is absolutely sublime and i'm very very impressed that's why i felt the need to do a unboxing video just purely because there's so much stuff we were so hyped about how it all fit and how comfy it all was. Let me know if you like these kind of videos because, you know, I do have lots more kit, um, which I'm happy to share with you guys and show you what it's like for me wearing it, Mike wearing it, etc. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.